Hey, it's Tuesday. It's time for our e-blast. Uh, just to go over a few things with you. One, this last week we had a Christmas Eve service and then the Sunday services. They were both phenomenal. The, the in-person services, those who watched online, I hope you could sense somehow the presence of the Lord and the blessing of that particular service. It was a great, great time. And uh, man, those get better every year. Uh, you, you've got to come if you haven't had one, been participated in one of our Christmas Eve services yet. They're always a blessing. Worship team outdid themselves. Just a great, great night in the Lord. Uh, a lot of family members there. We had some, probably some even in the COVID year, these were probably better attended than once in, even in recent years. So that was a good time in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, 2020, I think most of you are re ready to say goodbye to it. It has been a very trying and difficult year for you, for me, for the church, for a lot of people. Uh, some of you lost loved ones this year. Some of you experienced losses in jobs or something in your personal finances and economy. It's been trying. Uh, I just want to encourage you and remind you, though, if you kind of look back over your shoulder, take a moment to realize that God was present and is present in every one of those things. You know, the difficulties we faced, I believe not only was he present, I believe if we pay attention well enough, we'll see how God really was preparing us all along for these events that come to us. Uh, it, nothing should catch us uh, by a real surprise when you think about it if we're paying attention to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. One of the greatest things you can do as you approach 2021 and get into this next year is to just adopt an attitude and a mindset that each and every day of this year, I'm going to wake up with a, with a welcome to the Holy Spirit and a welcome to the Father and the Son to, to help me to realize what's going on, uh, not just in a physical sense, but even you know in a, in a spiritual sense, especially. We are possessed as Christians, by deity. God lives in us. The Holy Spirit lives in us. And he's there to guide, to comfort, to teach, to lead, to inform, to, to encourage, to strengthen. Uh, everything we need, in other words. We are always adequate for every situation. And I know I faced some times and I just felt like, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to, how to respond or how to deal with this. You feel frustrated. Some people in that moment run in all the wrong directions, you know, that, that, but you need to run in the right direction. And that direction is always to the Lord, always to the cross, and welcome him into the situation. I mean, he's there by welcoming. I simply mean recognize his presence, realize the truth of his and the power of his word, embrace whatever promises he's speaking to you in those situations, because he will communicate to your spirit. If you open your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ear, you will hear from God. So when you go into this next year, you know, don't walk down there and say, oh, it's going to be so hard. We're still going to be dealing with COVID. We may have problems. There may be more economic crisis. You remember, again, that you are adequate because the presence of God in you, you can deal with whatever it is that comes your way. You know, uh, I love where the, the Lord tells uh, uh, the man who wants Jesus, he asks Jesus to heal his servant. And uh, Jesus said, you know, uh, uh, you go your way. It's done as you desire. Uh, the thing about it, that, that simple story is he brought his problem to the Lord and then the Lord gave him a word. And that's with every situation and every miracle in Scripture kind of comes back to that with this Old Testament, New Testament. These miracles are, are the interventions of God's grace always come when we respond to the Word of God. So be in the Word. Uh, stay in the Word. Commit your heart to Jesus this year. Commit your life to Christ. Put the old things behind. Paul said, I don't look at those things which are behind. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Let him be the goal. Amen. And let your fellowship with him be the primary task of each and every day. And you'll see that if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these other things will be taken care of. Hey, listen, God loves you. Stay true to Jesus today and throughout this coming year. And be in church Sunday. Let's start the year off right and see what God has for us. And let's move forward for the glory of God. God bless you. I'll see you Sunday.